Hi, very good morning to you. It's Gene from Avstar. You know, I don't think people realise just how much the world has changed in the last 12 months. Um, with all the laws that, you know, governments around the world are, you know, now putting into practice, uh, starting with just a couple of months ago, we started to notice uh, on the channel some very unusual activity. And I've, I have noticed this before. It's not just this is the first time, but this is the first time in, in such quantities that they've done it. And what I'm talking about is if you look at the red figure under 60,000 subscribers, you'll see the red figure um, reads 200 minus. That means YouTube have deliberately come onto the channel and unsubscribed 200 people. Now, it has happened before, but not in such large quantities. Anyone that's got a YouTube channel know that YouTube do this. But they're doing it in larger numbers now on this channel. And uh, it's not just that that they've been doing. They've obviously been coming along to the comments section, removing comments more frequently now than they ever have done. And they're also deleting just comments when they want. So there is somebody from YouTube who has been assigned a job of, you know, trying to, um, you know, reduce uh, the information flow to a lot of people. People have told me that they've been unsubscribed. They've told me that they haven't received any notifications. And it is YouTube that are doing this. And we know it's because those laws that was passed a couple of months ago, that they've been forced to do it by governments. Yet governments are denying affiliation with the um, social media platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and all that. But we know that the governments are definitely out attacking people that are talking about things such as the things we discuss on this channel. And we've not talked about some of the hot topics that they pounce on straight away and give you strikes for when we're talking about, you know, the recent pandemic so we've left that off the topic of uh, discussion because we know that as soon as you mention something even though you know i have a qualification in biology and i am you know qualified to talk about such things as virology and things like that i won't do it because i know that it will lead to a strike or a warning being given so they are deliberately now going out after people. And I know why they've come out after me. I'm going to tell you. Because I am against the United Nations for the fact that they want to raise £500 billion every year off taxpayers globally for uh, the, the battle against CO2 causing global warming, which we know is a complete and utter pile of lies. Let's just put it that way lightly without swearing. And that's why they've come out after me. Uh, because one, they know I'm credible. I'm a qualified scientist. Two, I have presented accurate information which rebuts their claim. And obviously, if it, if it goes against the grain of them trying to raise £500 billion, then obviously they will use whatever tools they have in their tool bag to come out after me. And that's what exactly they've done. And they know... These people know what they've done. And it's not just YouTube. It's another organisation. And as we found from what happened to Russell Brand, we know it involves even departments of the military forces. Yeah, can you believe that? Part of their uh, forces that, are you, that use psychological tactics on the battlefield, they are using those on people on social media platforms that's how serious now they've got on this subject. So you are going to find it really difficult in the future to have alternative views on matters of climate and things like that. And that's what we've largely allowed the governments to do because we should have come out in protest about this and we should have protected our freedoms, but we didn't. And now we're here facing the consequences of not doing that. So... I'm telling you, as a human being, as a person who's supposed to live in a democracy, that the governments around the world, not just my government, the British government, they are exercising illegal 
activity right now in the fact that if they was to announce their charter with YouTube and we know that they've not announced it but we know that ministers have come out because of what's happened with Russell Brand recently being uh, accused of sex offences and rape uh, which happened in 2013 and why why for the life of me they never brought these charges back then I think is more of an injustice than trying to do it now when clearly they're just trying to use these charges to shut him up I want to show you um, something else here as well because this will put it into context for you what I'm trying to say and I'm talking about this because it's a very serious matter it's absolutely so serious what they've done you know it is so bad um, they're, they're denying they've got a charter they're denying that they are putting pressure on these platforms to go out after people like me it's not paranoia guys you can see yourself we've had 200 people subs unsubscribed in the last 28 days and they did the same in uh, the month before this month you know this is their the way they're, they're going out now and, and and trust me it's sad it is it is illegal but if there is no trace of their activity in um you know putting pressure on these organizations like youtube then there there is no way that they can be challenged legally in court because this is definitely a breach in human rights and i'm talking about uh i think article 10 the right to share your thoughts with other people the right to freely express your opinions and share those opinions with other people those are what they've broken the law but they've done it in a shadow way so that they can't be held accountable for breaking that law yet we know when we look at what happened to Russell Brand he pointed out the, the, the department the military department that was using psychological operations to go out after and target people like myself you got to remember is that the united nations raising 500 billion uh, 500 billion pound every year is a lot of money and obviously we are now seeing that these are nothing short of just criminal organizations supported by global governments we have no choice anymore we we got no we got no freedoms anymore, and obviously people will say, "Look, Gene, have you only just woke up to that fact?" It's not that I've only just woke up to that fact; it's that I'm on the receiving end now of this special treatment that is being um, shadowly uh, slapped on me, and I'm not the only one because you know they, first of all they demonetize you, they go after the money, just like Justin Trudeau did in Canada he went after the money now look this isn't just happening to me I am just the small fish obviously the topics which I talk about are big and if you've got a scientist which is saying what a load of rubbish it is that you know CO2 is supposed to cause global warming then obviously that goes against the grain of them trying to convince people that it is an issue that that requires 500 pounds to be raised in order to combat some of the uh, things that they would like to think have, could be done but I will say this just just before I show you the next clip I'll say this it wouldn't make any difference if you had 20 trillion pounds you will not remove the carbon and even though it is not worth removing out the atmosphere you would not be able to remove it even with 20 trillion pounds it's a joke it's what they've done is because they know that industry around the world is being replaced by technology and there's no longer a huge demand for human labor in the workforce what they've done is try to create bullshit industries and one of those industries now that is coming into full force and effect is the green industry and what they're not going to tell you is that they're tripping over their own feet right now because they said, if you remember, that they wanted to go green by 2030, they've extended it. But they've realised that because all the car manufacturers now are trying to switch over from combustion engines to electric motors, it requires batteries. And they can't build the batteries fast enough. 
And it's to the point now, and I know this firsthand, that companies are now going bankrupt because they can't get the supply of batteries. I could mention one, but I'm not going to. But I know you will be able easily able to find this if you've just done a quick search. Manufacturers are going bankrupt because they can't get the orders of batteries. And the, the companies that manufacture the batteries are going bankrupt because they can't get access to the very small and slow supply of cobalt and lithium. And this is what they're not telling you in mainstream media right now about what's happening. Because this is happening very quickly at an alarming pace. And that's what you get for trying to switch over from combustion engines, what we've been using for nearly 200 years, overnight to electric. What they did as well was put drive up the price of electricity and gas. And they did that because they knew that people would cut back on the usage of it. They integrated smart meters so that you'd be more consciously aware of how your gas and electric amounts are dropping as you go through out the day. You will pay more attention to that smart meter and that little machine in your house showing you as you use it, you, your usage and the cost of that usage. So what they did is they drove up the price of the electricity and the gas. Uh, and as a result of that, you use less. And as a result of that, they look good because it looks like they're reducing the demand. Uh, sorry, they're, re they're reducing the amount of CO2 that is being put into the atmosphere through the production of energy. Well, all is it's done is driven up everybody's food shopping bills and uh, energy costs. And people are still going bankrupt at this very moment on the back of already what happened uh, over the last few years with the pandemic. What these people are doing right now is literally fucking up the world economy and the world's manufacturing. And they're putting people out of work. Uh, 50,000 people already this year and more, much more. This is just a figure, right? 50,000 people have been evicted out their own homes this year. And that figure is going to double and triple before the end of the year is out. And it is totally responsible. It is totally by design of the government and their policies <coughs> that has led to this. And they show no signs of reversing any of these policies. You know, I have never I have never lived in a day and age where the suppression of freedom of speech is at its level of what it is today. And that is concerning me because the last time we saw this sort of behaviour and negligence was back in the 1930s with the Nazis. And we know what, led, what came next. And what worries me is that this government will try and do the same as what they did. Because if they get away with one thing, they're going to try and get away with another. And, and, and the, the level of corruption within the governments around the world now is so high that, you know, I fear a complete and utter global collapse of the system because we've seen at the end of all the other empires that we have had in history the exact same behaviour and that no, no lessons have been learnt whatsoever by any of these government officials. I'll tell you what it's led to, in a nutshell, for me personally. You know, I think I've got about £4 left in my bank account and I've been trying to warn people for the last two months, you know, that we are definitely going into the red here. Well, we've run out of money, simply as that. You know, we've run out of money and we've been persecuted by a government that has no legal rights to do that, yet they have. And they've done it most obviously because of the fact I talk about CO2 and I talk about the United Nations raising their money and it is obviously, you know, landed on somebody's desk and they've been given the task of trying to shut us down. Well, uh, you know, I suppose if they're watching this video, you, you know, you, well done. You've managed to, you know, break the law and you've managed to, you know, you, you have you have clearly gone after the money, clearly, because there is none left. Even for a small operation as ours, this observatory doesn't really require a lot of money. It's not like we're paying premium paying rent on premises or anything like that I've actually used my own private residence to you know uh, house a lot of this equipment 
and we've done as much as we could on the internet which cuts costs but you know without even a small amount of money being raised you know and um you know with them now you know unsubscribing people to the channel it makes it really difficult to see a way forward you know that we can continue delivering a service that we do you know on the magnetic pole shift and keeping up with current events i wanted to show you this because this really does put it into perspective i mean before i do i mean you know about russell brand being targeting because of what he talks about um you know the corporations that he talks about and the truth about legacy media you know uh that jordan peterson has been targeted by you know uh, those people at his university you know there is a lot more of the people including myself like gerald salenti that has been targeted because they don't like what he talks about but i just want to remind you what happened a few weeks ago i told people that was involved in you know the wars that are happening now i mean i'm even frightened to mention them because of the repercussions that youtube will do if i do but i told them just to lay down the weapons and go and live a peaceful life with the families and not sacrifice their lives in the war for any land because it is not worth it as a result of that youtube removed the video can you believe that i was talking about peace and because i was talking about peace they removed the video i'll tell you now if jesus christ come back it wouldn't be weeks before they put him back on the cross it would be just a matter of just simple minutes they would execute him within minutes that's why i say to you we live in a world of monsters and we have managed to allow hell on this earth to be reborn when we could have been living in utopia we could have had heaven on this earth that's where we are right now and i don't as a logical person i don't see this situation getting any better before it gets much worse it is going to get worse guys just look at this I'm not going to get into the details of the lawsuit with Alex Jones, but what I will tell you is that it ended with Alex Jones being ordered to pay $2.75 trillion. Can you believe that? And uh, it was discussed in this interview, you know, that that is almost the GDP of India. So, how in the hell is he ever going to pay that back? He is declared bankrupt. And that's what they do. That's the level of what they will go to to shut you up. So if you get bigger than your boots on any of these social media platforms, they will come after you. And they came after Alex Jones. He says in this interview that he had a couple of million pounds in his bank. He did gross a few times, 60 million pounds. But he said, well, what you've got to realise is if you're buying, selling water filters, you've got to buy the water filters and you ain't going to make uh, half the amount of money on them you're going to make a little bit on each of them but he said that, uh, that he ended up with a couple of million pound in his bank and uh you know he's been ordered to pay 2.75 trillion pounds it's a ridiculous amount of money and as he described it you know he said if you was going to shoot me once then you'd shoot me once he said but if you was going to shoot me 10 times then you'd shoot me 10 times okay i'm going to be dead after 10 times he said but what this was like was being shot a thousand times so after 10 times it wouldn't make any difference they just made sure that they shot him another thousand times afterwards <laughs> which is obviously the point he's trying to make is is that you know after a certain amount of money you've been told to pay it's regardless of how much it is basically what they've done is they've said to him you're bankrupt for life now if we lived in a democratic society where we are allowed to share our freedom of you know uh, views expressions you know share ideas with other but other people this would never be allowed to happen but it has you know alex jones russell brand they're going to come after russell brand much bigger than what they have because they've demonetized him they're already started to go after his money they will bankrupt him and what you know i was talking to my mum the other day and she says i'm worried that they're going to cause him to have a nervous breakdown 
She said, you can see that he's obviously worried about all these things that are happening to him. Well, anyone would be, wouldn't they? With the, you know, the government on your back. Anyone would be. So what we're going to start seeing is him being uh, investigated for tax evasion. Uh, they're, they're not going to stop until they've, they've, they've shut him up. And, you know, you, you think that Rumble is a free platform at the moment, but the governments have already tried and are still trying to get that platform under control and, you know, uh, facilitate their crushing down on people that speak the truth. So we're all led at the end of the day to believe that we're in a, dem a democratic society and that we have the freedoms to protest and say when we don't like, you know, the activities of our government, but they're just clearly not paying any attention to us anymore. If you protest, then, you know, there are laws now that say that you, you can be arrested for it. So they're trashing the freedom of rights and uh, the human rights they're just trashing it as and when they want to under certain circumstances which they will use in order to shut somebody up and this is just one case after the next after the next this is what you're going to start to see now you know if you've got children that are being brought up in this world you know may the grace of god be walking with them all the time because they're going to need it because we are being led now by nothing short of open criminal behavior and they don't care about the fact that we know about it now it's as clear as daylight you know um i'll mention the link down there you know we really need some support from you guys financially here because like i say when i'm when i'm saying this you know we've got a couple of quid left in the bank that's exactly what we've got you know it would be great if you know out of the thousand people that view this video a couple of people chip in a few books today you know, we might be able to push it until the 17th. But we are running almost on a daily basis now here at this observatory. It has got to this. Couldn't be any more darker moments than what we're living in right now. But I do, as a logical person, a logical thinker, know that this is going to get much worse before it gets better. And whilst we all pretend to keep our head in the sand it's not it's not the way forward it really isn't you know we need to do more now than we did ever so there's a link down there if you want to help support us um we'll see where it goes and um you know i'll say what i usually do you know you take care of your loved ones and as always bye for now